Hello Cancer and welcome to your January 2022 reading. Already we are in 2022 so happy new year and may the next year bring you love and light and healing and blessings and uh, aspirations and abundance and so on. So there you go. Uh, on this I meditated on your energy. Uh, for the month of January and here is what spirit wanted to talk to you about the first card that I have is the king of sword so the king of sword that tells me that um, there's something you're understanding here at the beginning of the month and maybe you're like expressing yourself but because it's very linked to the throat chakra here of uh, yeah you're talking okay after that, I have the Sun and the Eight of Swords. Huge clarity on what used to block you, on what used to be your mental jail, okay? That yes, but thinking in your head. And this month, you do have your full moon uh, coming up. That started six months ago uh, on your birthday uh, month. And uh, so... That means bringing a lot of light on what was hidden for you and what was affecting cancer the most. And so we know that it's all about that grasping a footing in the bottom of the sea, your emotional security and groundness um, to be able to resonate to who you truly are and not be um, affected by the waves of emotions around you. So, I say that because after that, I have the Tree of Sword uh, in reverse at this point. Uh, because see all the swords here. We're talking about the link between the mental and the emotions. Okay? Um, all this, the disappointments and that capacity for the mental to bring gray clouds. Okay? around us and entrapped us in this jail you're very conscious and you're expressing it in the beginning of the month here some of you it was a bit before a bit after it all depends under our king of sword that's why i say that look at this ten of sword and the world so you are coming right away with finishing a cycle of sword that's why that um, eight of sword is reversed that tree of sword is reversed because this is like understanding how my beliefs how much they've hurt me how i've betrayed myself how it prevented me from being aligned there's the five of ones um with my willpower here how I always met uh, resistance and conflict and so on around me, or at least have that feeling. Or even not knowing my own direction because of that. The clarity it brings of, it's like if you're finishing your cycle, but it becomes clearer and clearer as you advance in the month okay and that can be due to that full moon shedding a huge light on this aspect of you and so what it's going to shed even more is that five of pentacle here that was part of your mental prison the lie you bought about here the lack the lack of self-worth or the capacity to receive or the capacity to feel safe and to, um, you know, be complete and wanted and chosen and desired by you. Under that, I have the Pope. So all of this, the Son and the Pope, that if you just look at the major arcanas, we have the world, the Son, the Pope. I'm finishing a cycle. Everything becomes clear and I can finally apply my discernment into how I'm going to uh, 
changed my life here. Under the Three of Sword, I have the Ace of Sword. After the Ten comes the Ace. It's, it's like you're very conscious about all the damage it did. And now you're going to get the clarity on how to bring joy, happiness, celebration, four of wands into your life. Not five, but four. So it's like this uh, unfolding effect of the clarity uh, you're getting this month, Cancer. And bottom of the deck, I have the Three of Cups. This is all so that you can start celebrating life and feeling the celebration of life with the people around you. Not being a source of disappointment, heartaches, abandonment, but a, a source of, yes, we can rejoice together. Let's clarify. I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading for cancers for the month of January. King of Swords, King of Wands. That clarity, and it's with the Queen of Pentacles. Now that's the grounded, uh, I know my worth, Queen. Okay? I know I can accomplish anything. I am wanted, I am supported, I am uh, enough. So that's the opposite of this. Okay? So your self-confidence of your value and your worth. Here, with the King of Wands and the King of Swords, this is like, okay, I understand. That is my truth now. And it affects right away how I bring my fire, my willpower out there. So two kings here. That finishing of that cycle will affect how you express yourself and how you bring your willpower. This is what I desire. This is what I'm going for. I'm willing to take that risk. I know who I am. Strategy, willpower. These are very masculine energy on top of being the kings. Swords and wands are masculine. This is how we act out there. So, eight of swords. How maybe before your mental was preventing you from actually following your bliss, following what you love. I say that because of the, um, the sun here. Solar plexus, okay? This would be like a release of the solar plexus. A release because ten of wands, when we carry the ten of wands, our solar plexus, plexus is kind of uh, heavy, okay? Can't see in front of him. It's not like the sun. Look at that. Naked kid on a white horse with sunflowers and a red flag. What more do you want? Huh? And here I have three of cups. So it's getting out of your baggage and your head uh, what these two were mastering. Ten of swords, ten of wands. So that you can be, hey, Look at that lightness, okay? I'm, you're going to feel a lot lighter at the end of the month. The Three of Swords. Show me the Three of Swords. Yeah. Two of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Are you, as long as you hold on to your old disappointments, sadnesses, and so on, you're going to be juggling and... See, holding on to it and closed to the flow of actually going out like this. You see what I mean? 
you see it right there. But you're going to understand how you used to do that. And how it used to make you unstable emotionally. Up and down, up and down. Let's look at the world. This is up. All right. Okay. T the world and the Ten of Swords. Oops. Five of Swords here. And that's the, you know, the sabotage. Five of Swords, Five of Wands. Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands. King of Swords, King of Wands. So you see, you're really shedding a light on those two elements of fire and air within yourself. And here I have the Empress. That is all about what you allow, what you attract, how you perceive. She's the four queens. Your in connection to your inspiration, to your intuition. It's all her. Venus. Maybe you even cut yourself from that before because of this. It's going to become clear and obvious how you uh, created your prison. Show me the five of wands. Ah, the five of wands made you seven of wands. Be on the defensive and resist. Okay, but here I have the Eight of Cups. And that's what the moon is shining on you. See, there's the moon right there in that card. And look at that guy is holding a wand. Because at that point, he understands swords. That is emotional baggage. Where he's vibrating now is not enough. And it will always... Um, see, eight, eight. It will always bring him into this prison of emotions and thoughts are very connected. You know, that's why we have the headline and the heart line so close one over the other. They mirror one another and they can influence one another uh, very easily, you know. So, here... Uh, this is making the decision of, you know what? There's more water out there. I'm going to go for it. That's the eight of cups. Won't be conflicted about it. I won't sabotage myself or convince myself that there's nothing more and be in my mental prison here. Uh, my two kings are going to step up. That five of pentacle, you seeing it very clearly. Yeah, so we have the queen of cups. And we have the five of wands again. So see, you, and you're the queen of cups. So it's like if that feeling of abandonment and maybe you know you don't need to be uh, left on the steps of a church as a baby to be abandoned okay abandonment as soon as you felt alone and that the love and the support were conditional and you didn't feel enough and so on this is a kind of abandonment okay where all of a sudden the world out there felt cold and lacked, this is abandonment. Um, and then we start abandoning ourselves because we start believing it. And our self-value is diminished. We start sacrificing in order to deserve. We start giving this much in order to have this. Because we believe that that's our worth. So here with the Queen of Cups, there's this emotional understanding about it. And here we can see how it affected your intuition, your, your, how much you allow yourselves to be loved, how much you allow yourselves 
creativity and so on. Okay? How it created conflict within yourself for um, allowing yourself to expand. You know? This is who I am. Ooh, the Pope. Yes, Wheel of Fortune. Oh, and here we have the Five of Wands again. So Five of Wands, Five of Wands, a lot of inner conflict and maybe a lot of outer conflict also. Every time I try to do something, there's like other things and, and I'm not aligned. My willpower, I, I like this and this and this. I'm not aligned into what's my purpose? What am I here to do? What, how can I, you know, where's my solar plexus aiming this is going to bring it down to a much more basic um, state of being okay uh, with the will of fortune I'm understanding something and then I'm going to move from there when I look at the King of Swords and the King of Wands, and if it's a lack of direction, often it's because of a lack of being able to connect to who you truly are and what you truly love and know that you are enough to do it. Because the, the basic purpose is just to be. The basic pers uh, purpose is to be, to emanate, to enjoy, to vibrate celebration and light. That is the basic purpose of existing. Just be you. And that's it. You don't have to save the world. Or you don't have to, you know, find a cure for cancer here. To have a deserving purpose. As soon as it makes you vibrate happiness and joy. This is it. Because this is what is having an impact. On this reality. There's something about this that you're going to understand that is going to, let's, let's say, restore your King of Swords and your King of Wands. Uh, Ace of Sword. All right. Ace of Sword. We have the Knight of Sword and the Six of Sword. That's beautiful. Because the Six of Sword is being able to turn the page on all of that crap. Forgiveness. That's it. It is done. I am not remaining in there all conflicted. I am not holding on to whatever, you know, created the abandonment feeling or the feeling of not being enough. That is done. If I hold on to it, I still vibrate it. I'm still stuck in it. I'm turning the page. That is what you are going to understand. I'm letting go of this. I'm not holding it and juggling anymore. That is what you're going to understand truly at the end of the month. So you're seeing it clearly at the beginning. But then... The, the whole how it was made and the impact of it will allow you, understanding that, seeing the clarity on that, will allow you to truly release it. So that you can, four of wands, start celebrating life and manifesting in ten of cups, happiness. Because, yes... You will understand. Here we have Ace of Sword, Ace of Sword. What it's all about to celebrate life. To have our ones, not all conflicted, but yes, all is clear. All is to the surface. I can be welcoming and lift my glass. That's why we say, oh, it's a bar mitzvah, it's a wedding, it's a baptism, uh, whatever it is. It's celebrating life. Because you're going to finally take that extra cup. See? Page of cup. He's holding that cup that before you couldn't see. Because you were stuck in your swords 
and your wants, in your whole baggage, and in the beliefs that came with maybe an old vibration of not being enough and abandonment. All right? So, ah, huge clarity. I'm going to call that, okay? It's a huge clarity that will enable you to be happy and light. Or I'm going to call that happiness and light because it's going to be light after shadow, okay? It's going to be the light after the suffering and the uh, not knowing where to go, what, who I am, how do I expand? Clarity. All right. On this, my beautiful Cancers, thank you for watching, sharing, commenting, and please subscribe. I forgot to say that in the past videos, but anyway, here it is. If you want a private reading, the description is below. There's an email you write to me, I write to you back. But I'm going to take a little break and start reading my emails, like opening a computer only uh, after the 17th of January. So keep that in mind if I don't answer right away, okay? And, and I'm going to start booking from there. So on this... Thank you also for the ones of you who gave donations. It helps more than you think. And on the 2nd of January, it's the new moon in Capricorn. And I'm going to do a little ceremony to infuse that moon to give you back. So on that, all my love and light. And I'll see you next month.